Howdy, it's Kyle, ranking the states in terms of the music artists that are from there. I thought this would be a fun way to compare the states and see who has the best music. Of course, there's going to be some subjectivity to this, but this really is more about the popularity of the artist and how big they are, as opposed to my personal taste. And it's also where the artist is from, which might not be the same as where they were born. And of course, there's going to be some correlation between the population of the state and the number of artists from there. But as you'll see, it isn't just about the population. So let's take a look at the ranking of the states by its musical artists. All right, dead last is South Dakota. The one artist they have from there is just barely large enough to even be considered for this video. Wyoming, same deal here, just one artist, but their one artist is slightly bigger than the one from South Dakota. Montana at least has a few different artists from there, but you probably haven't heard of any of them, but the guy Tim Montana, that's at least his real name. That's pretty cool. Moving over to Idaho, a couple of artists you may actually have heard of before. Maine has just a few artists large enough to be considered for this list, and none of them are really all that terribly big. Next door, New Hampshire in a similar situation, just a few artists from there, none of which are huge. Also in New England is Rhode Island, only one artist from there, but at least he had a big hit back in the 90s, so it's someone you might actually have heard of. Nebraska has a couple of artists from there, but when 50% of the main artists from your state is Mannheim Steamroller, there's a problem. New Mexico might be my favorite state, but it's not because of the number of artists that come from there. I do like the Shins, but they really are the only major artists from there. Of all of the states that only have one artist from that state, Delaware ranks the highest because at least their one main artist is fairly well known. With so many German immigrants having settled in North Dakota, it makes perfect sense that Lawrence Welk, a polka band leader, is from there. Alaska, not many people, but two fairly well-known artists, Jewel and Portugal. The Man. I should probably rank Utah dead last simply because the Osmonds are from there, but alas, they were a major act back in the 1970s. Wisconsin is the poorest performing state on this list relative to its population. 20th in population, 37th on this list. And the only reason it's that high is because Les Paul is such a major name in the history of rock and roll. Oregon is surprisingly low on this list, being that Portland has a cool and hip music scene. And there are a decent number of names from Oregon, but none of these are really huge. Contrary to popular belief, John Denver is not from West Virginia. However, Kathy Matea is, and nothing says romance like 18 wheels and a dozen roses. Vermont, you only have two names from there, but one of them is really big. So if you're a middle-aged white person and you've dabbled in drugs, you've probably heard of fish. The most surprisingly low-ranked state on this list is Colorado. There are some big names here, but surprisingly few for a fairly large state. But it kind of goes with the whole trend of the interior western states not really being known for their music scenes. Iowa is another state that doesn't have a large number of artists from there, but the Everly Brothers are a major act in terms of the history of rock and roll, so the state gets a bump here. Hawaii, a small state, not a lot of people, but a couple of big names on here. And yes, there was a heavy metal band with the name Hawaii that featured Marty Friedman, who later joined Megadeth. South Carolina, a few big names here, including jazz legend Dizzy Gillespie. And there's actually a street in Columbia called Hootie and the Blowfish Street. Nevada has a decent number of artists and some really big names as well, but these are all artists that started in the past 20 years. And that makes perfect sense based on the population explosion in Nevada over the past 20 years. Kansas is home to rock band Kansas and three well-known singer-songwriters. Arizona is home to a couple of well-known country singers and bands, but one of the greatest band names of all time is from their Meat Puppets. Connecticut, small state, not a large list of artists from there, but some pretty well-known acts. And can you imagine how out of control a party would be if it's headlined by the Carpenters and Michael Bolton? Alabama is home to Alabama, as well as legendary singers Hank Williams and Lionel Richie. Getting down into Arkansas, we're starting to see a larger number of country singers here. Johnny Cash, Glenn Campbell, and Conway Twitty are major names in the history of country. And Al Green is a legendary soul singer. And we move on from there to Tennessee. Tennessee being ranked here might actually be a surprise for how low it is. 
It's one of the most important states in the country for music in terms of the recording industry with major labels in Nashville and Memphis. But many of the artists that got big in those studios were actually from other places. Nonetheless, there are some huge names coming out of Tennessee. Maryland isn't a state that comes up too often when you talk about the top states for music. And that might be because there were no major artists from Maryland that were part of the initial wave of the beginnings of rock and roll. So a decent number of artists coming out of Maryland, even though it isn't usually associated with a lot of great music. Just for fun, I wanted to show where Australia would be if I were counting it the same as a state. For reference, Australia has about 26 million people, which is more than Florida, but less than Texas. And this is just in terms of Australian artists that made it big in the U.S., not ones that only stayed big over there. Heading down to Mississippi, this is often considered the birthplace of rock and roll. A lot of classic Mississippi Delta blues musicians got their start here. But it isn't just a bunch of old music that has come out of Mississippi. There are still plenty of good artists coming out of there today. The number of artists coming out of Indiana isn't impressive, but there are some heavy hitters here. With Michael and Janet Jackson, the Jackson 5, and John Mellencamp all being huge artists, most of the major artists that have come out of Indiana are really major artists. Kentucky has a pretty impressive list of artists that have come from there, and most of them do trend towards country and bluegrass. And Chris Stapleton is so good that even country music radio stations will play him. But there's also some good non-country that has come out of Kentucky through the years. And kind of like Maryland, Virginia usually isn't brought up when talking about states with a lot of music coming from there. Got a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and you've got several different genres covered as well. Now I know that Guar is actually from outer space, but I'm going to count them with Virginia being that that's where their ship landed. Next up is Missouri, a state that is known for its place in music history. Kansas City was known for its big jazz scene and St. Louis for its blues scene. You have many different genres covered here going back many decades, and most importantly, there's a band called Someone Still Loves You, Boris Yeltsin. Minnesota is another state with not a huge number of artists from there, but a couple of huge hitters here. Prince and Bob Dylan are the classic big names from Minnesota, but Owl City is huge too. I'm not sure how popular the whole Steady are, but that's my personal favorite band of the past 20 years. Whereas Wisconsin and Colorado are the two states that really underperform in terms of the number of artists that come from there relative to its population, Oklahoma is the opposite. It's only 28th in population, but 15th on this list. And as you might expect, it is mostly country, but some of the country here is big time. Even if Oklahoma was just Garth Brooks, it would probably still be in the top 30. But with Reba McIntyre, Carrie Underwood, Toby Keith, and Vince Gill, the country music is strong in Oklahoma. And you also have Hanson. Heading over to Louisiana, another state known for its music heritage. A lot of jazz, a lot of country. And people in Louisiana really do appreciate a good piano player. Jerry Lee Lewis, Fats Domino, Harry Connick Jr., Dr. John, John Baptiste. They love the Ivories down there in Louisiana. But it isn't just the jazz and country. There's a lot of great Zydeco, blues, and hip-hop. And Britney Spears. Heading over to Ohio, a long list of artists from there covering a wide variety of genres. It's hard to say that Ohio is known for any single type of genre because you look at this list, it covers a lot of them. And most of the other states that have a lot of artists from there, you can look at it and say, well, a lot of these are more heavily disproportionate in this one genre, but not so much for Ohio. North Carolina, not a state known for its jazz so much, but some pretty big jazz names here. North Carolina is a pretty well-rounded state in terms of its physical geography and economy, and it's also well-rounded in terms of its music. And just like as with Australia, I wanted to show where Canada would be if I were counting it the same as a state. The country as a whole has just under 40 million people, which is about the same as California. And this is a pretty impressive list of artists from Canada that have made it big in the U.S. However, I did not break these down by province, but Ontario, the most populous province in the country, does have the largest number of these artists. Florida doesn't have a large number of major artists coming from there relative to its position as the third most populous state in the country, but there are quite a few from Florida. Most notably is Ray Charles, and yes, he is from Florida, not Georgia. And Ray Charles is one of the most important names in the history of rock and roll, but 
All of these other artists from Florida came long after that. Even Tom Petty and Leonard Skinner came out 20 years after Ray Charles. Pennsylvania, 5th in population, 10th on this list. I don't think there's any one name on this list that really stands out as a major A-plus act. But this is a really long list of A and A-minus list artists. And the world might know Will Smith for acting and the slap, but we'll always know Will Smith for being the Fresh Prince. The list for Washington is very heavily tilted towards rock bands, but it isn't just rock bands and a couple of its biggest artists are the ones that are not rock. Seattle music really made a name for itself in the early 90s, but Jimi Hendrix was the biggest name to come out of there. And love him or hate him, Kenny G sold a ton of albums. Little old Massachusetts with a long list of artists that have come from there. Boston is home to Boston and many other artists as well. The city is home to the Berkeley College of Music, which is one of the major music universities in the country, and many of these bands got started as people that went to that school met each other and just formed a band there. New Jersey doesn't take up much space on the map, but there is a long list of artists that come from there. You got one of the most well-known male and female crooners of all time from there. Some great rappers, some great hair metal, and one of my favorite punk bands of all time, The Misfits. So a wide variety of stuff coming out of New Jersey, 11th in population, 7th on this list. Illinois being ranked this high on the list is not going to be a surprise, being that Chicago is one of the most important cities in the history of music for this country. So a very long list of artists that have come out of Illinois, and not all of these are from Chicago either. Lots of great hip-hop, classic rock, and jazz. And Chicago is the town where the electric blues got its big start. Georgia is another state known for its wide variety of music coming from there. You've got a lot of classic R&B and rock and roll coming out of Atlanta, a lot of the bands coming out of Athens, the college town, a lot of great country coming from there, and there's just as much stuff coming out of Georgia today as there was 30, 40, 50 years ago. One of the first states that you might think of when you think of music is Michigan, and for good reason. A lot of the stuff that we listen to today had its sound shaped by Michigan in the 1960s and 70s. Detroit was known for its sweet soul coming out of Motown and also loud, crunchy guitars and a hard rock scene. And there continues to be a lot of great music coming out of Michigan today. Texas being this high on the list is certainly no surprise. And even though there is a disproportionate number of country artists on this list, it's definitely not just country in Texas. Blues, hip-hop. Rock and roll, metal, Tejano, Texas has it covered. But that's just one part of a huge state producing a lot of great music. Despite the huge number of major artists coming out of Texas, there are way more coming out of New York. You'll probably need to pause the video in order to read all the names on this list. There are just that many. But also keep in mind, these are artists that are actually from New York, not ones that are from somewhere else that moved to New York to get big. But if you're growing up there, there are just going to be more talent scouts, more people in the business that might be able to recognize you. And as you can see, quite a few out of New York have been recognized. And I'm sure there's no surprise whatsoever as to what number one is, but it's California. Being the state with the most number of people, you can expect to have the most number of artists come from there. But just like New York, even though there is a huge population, there's still a disproportionate number of major artists that have come from there. And again, this is because you have a major media center there with Los Angeles. So you have more media talent, more scouts, more people that might see you for the first time in order to quote unquote discover you. So yes, a very large number of artists coming from the most populous state in the country. And as you saw from this list, there is a bit of a correlation between the population of that state and the number of music artists from there. But it isn't just about population and certain areas do have more of a music heritage than others. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography. I'm doing ranking videos like this. I'm comparing cities and states in all kinds of different categories, talking about cross-country road tripping, and everything I do comes from a little more nerdy type perspective. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out.